All right, once again, thank you everybody for joining us here at this exciting day in UIC women's basketball history as we introduce our next head coach, Tasha Pointer. To start off the festivities, yeah, round of applause. Round of applause for the new coach. Very, very well deserved, very well deserved. So it's my pleasure to first introduce our director of athletics, Garrett Classy. He will give, deliver some remarks and introduce Coach Pointer. Coach will speak and then we'll open it up for questions for any of our media members in attendance. And then we've also got some refreshments over to my left, your right afterwards to uh, mingle and get, give yourself an opportunity to meet Coach. So without any further ado, Garrett Classy. I tell you, these are the fun days on the job. Get to introduce someone as special as Tasha here to the UIC fa family. Uh, you know, it's always a special day to be a flame, but today is extremely special for me to welcome someone of Tasha's magnitude to our family. Um, we're obviously here today to introduce Tasha Pointer as a new women's basketball coach at UIC. But before we get started, I want to welcome the, um, our fans, our UIC student athletes, especially our women's basketball team, uh, UIC staff, and especially our UIC friends of the program, uh, campus administration, season ticket holders that are here today. I want to give you all a round of applause for supporting our program. Last but not least, I'd like to welcome Tasha's family to the Flames family. Quab, Nana, who today told me she's the new head coach of UIC women's basketball, and Anaya. You guys are going to look very good in red and blue and can't wait to see you at, at our women's basketball games and all our events cheering us on to victory. So welcome to our family. Next, there's a few people that... Next, there's a few people that were very instru instrumental to the uh, process of bringing such a successful head coach here to UIC. First of all, I'd like to thank uh, Chancellor Amaritas, who's always supportive of UIC athletics, but was also a very great resource throughout this process, uh, and especially Tiny McGowan, our SWA. Uh, she was working relentless hours to help find us the best candidates for this job. So, and then everyone else on the staff that helped us interview all the candidates that came in. So thank you. Let, I want to give you all a round of applause. When we set out to hire the next head coach for UIC women's basketball, we were looking for someone that was a proven winner, someone who did coach at the highest level, someone that was a re relentless recruiter, and someone that cared about the entire student athlete experience. And here at UIC, we define that as someone that wants our student athletes to be champions in the classroom and in the community and obviously in competition. You know, our mission statement here is changing lives and winning championships. And luckily, Tasha checked all those boxes and then some. As we all know here, UIC is a world-class institution with world-class student athletes, world-class people with world-class expectations. Tasha Pointer is a world-class person that I'm confident that is going to exceed all those expectations. This opening, we had amazing strong interest in this position from current Division I head coaches to coaches in the WNBA to some of the top assistant coaches in the country. And I have to tell you, Tasha Pointer was head and shoulders the best candidate, the best fit, and the best person to lead UIC women's basketball into unprecedented success. Throughout the process, I talked to a lot of friends that are head coaches, athletic directors, college administrators, and I tell you what, I couldn't find one person say anything negative about you, Tasha. It was unbelievable. People were saying things like, you have to go get her. It would be a major coup if UIC could get her. If you can get her, go get her. I'm like, well, we're UIC. Of course we can get her. We're the best, so we're, we're going to get whoever we want. And luckily, Tasha was that person. Yes, absolutely. But uh, before I turn the stage over to Tasha, just a little bit about her. You know, Tasha is a native Chicagoan. She played right down the road at Whitney Young High School, uh, where she was a Parade All-American and Chicago Sun-Times Player of the Year. Collegially, Tasha played at Rutgers, where she would go down as one of the best players in Rutgers history as the all-time leader in assists and steals. In 1998, she was the Big East Rookie of the Year in a two-time first team uh, conference selection. She also led her class to 10 NCAA tournament wins, earning two, all, all and two NCAA all-tournament team selections, including a Final Four appearance. So any of you guys out there that want me to play noon basketball, Tasha's on my team, okay? <laughs> Just so you know. Um, and I'll take D also. D and Tasha and me against everyone else here. So uh, as a coach, Tasha's had stops at Columbia, Xavier, 
Rutgers, St. John's, and most recently right up the road at Northwestern. She has helped her teams in nine 21 seasons, 12 NCAA tournament appearances, including an Elite Eight and a Sweet 16, and has coached 14 WNBA draft picks. She's coached two conference rookies of the year and four conference defensive players of the year. Pretty impressive resume. We're very lucky to have you on board. Um, now, enough of me. I'd like to introduce you to the next head coach of USC women's basketball and the coach that I'm confident will lead us to our first NCAA tournament in UIC women's basketball history. Your new head coach of UIC women's basketball, Tasha Pointer. I want to thank God for this opportunity. Thank you to Chancellor Emeritus, our Athletics Director, Garrett Classy, our sen Senior Women's Athletic Director, Tanya McGowan. I want to thank my husband, Kwabana, and our daughters, Naraya and Anaya. They inspire me to appreciate each day and its moments. My parents, who displayed a tremendous work ethic and drive for my brothers and me. My brothers who challenged me daily to become the greatest version of myself. To the countless educators who instilled in me a spirit and drive to, ne to never settle for being average. Who required me to strive and display my best. I thank you. I have fond memories of growing up in the high school girls Chicago Public League, playing and winning the city championship on this campus at the UIC Pavilion. Now, I am extremely fortunate to return to this campus as the head coach of UIC women's basketball. I really want to thank every flame that has called UIC home. Every flame who believe that something special resides here. Every person who has ever worked or played here. We recognize the contributions of every flame in the past who laid the foundation of this program. And now we accept responsibility and are accountable for the legacy we leave. The fabric of this program will be defined by playing as one team whose mission is to be greater than the day before. This is about the north, south, and west side of Chicago, along with the areas that make up the Chicago land. We are one Chicago, and we are responsible for extending our UIC flame into new territory on and off the court. This is not just about individual flames, nor is it about my individual flame. When we start and finish each day, we will, remind, we will be reminded that we play for every flame. So ladies, I look forward to working with you. I'm excited, I'm thrilled, and we're gonna trust one voice as we move forward in our quest to be the best. Thank you. So with that, Coach, I'll ask you to stay up here. We'll open up to any questions for any uh, media members in attendance. What attracted you most about this opportunity? Well, I, I would say what attracted me most is I grew up on campus. And so I remembered the area. I remembered, hey, UIC could be special. But UIC has been waiting for the right leader. And so sometimes people believe, hey, that job, uh, I don't really know. This is not a job for me at UIC. This is a passion, this is my calling, and this is my city. And so I'm excited about being able to come back and revitalize the program and take UIC to its first ever women's national 
collegiate, obviously, NCAA tournament. What is your assessment of the squad here? My assessment is we have a group of young ladies who are bursting with pride in terms of being a UIC flame, as well as scratching the surface of what they could become. And so when I see in them, I see women that are hungry, that are inspired, that are ready to play. And we're going to remove all barriers that are in front of us. Who am I going to look to to assemble my staff? People that are loyal, dedicated, hungry, extremely excited and upbeat and ready to represent the city of Chicago, but more importantly, the institution here at UIC. Well, I'm glad you asked that question. The first 90 days will be built around getting to know each and every last one of our players right here because the most important thing is our relationships with one another. And so in order to move on and recruit other people to come at you to UIC, you have to make sure that you take care of your current players. I think the, uh, the things that I learned in the Big Ten, Big East, along with several uh, notable coaches, that passion is the most important thing. Passion drives success. And so you, you don't place, um, hey, we're looking for these banners. We place the people in front of the banners and everything else will fall into place. So it's more important to be surrounded by the, good, the best people, the right people. And I think that we have that. We have um, Garrett along with Tanya in terms of heading our leadership. And so I'm excited to be named the next head coach here. And we're going to do great things. Another round of applause for Coach Tasha. Yeah. Come, let's take a picture. <laughs> and and the, the latest head coaches, I want yeah, all of so you. Yeah, so yeah. No. <laughs> okay. Excuse me. 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 Excuse